What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm back to talk about Warhammer 40k. And this time I'm talking about the orcs and just how amazing this year has been for them, or should I say will be, in just a few days. Because over on the Warhammer community, they have confirmed that there is going to be a very orky preview coming in just a few days. This preview will feature everything going on with the orcs, the new box that they come that's coming out really soon, and what's going on in the Octarius sector. So this is a very interesting thing because if you know about this sector, this is where the orcs and the Tyranids have been going toe to toe, mano a mano, tooth to nail for a long, long ass time. And they said the victor of this battle is going to come out as a more monstrous, more real threat to the galaxy. And the way it's looking, it's probably going to the orcs because they've just got so much going for them now. The new orc 9th edition codex is coming out with this box set that has the beast snaggers. And honestly, there's a new boy model, toughness five orc boys, You've got, I guess that makes sense, since, since they're fighting the Tyranids, I guess they would be tougher. So, that's the first piece of lore bit that <laughs> I can tie together as to why Orcs have a Toughness 5 now. Uh, but anyway, we've got a whole new line of new Orcs, like, like the Beast Snaggas. You've got a new model for, I believe it's a, a Heavy Armor Knob, I think so. You've got a new Orc model for a Mad Dock. And we've got an article here talking about the Beast Snaga Squigs. So Squigs are a very interesting race of orc. They essentially can become a ton of things depending on what they're used for. Say an orc wants a toupee, find a, find a hair squig and there you go. But that's just one of the silly things you could do with a squig. Here we have bomb squigs, which have always been a part of the orc lore. These things are essentially squig with some type of explosives attached to them, and they just rush at the enemy and blow themselves up. So the bomb squig that we're going to have in 9th edition looks like a squig with a Gretchen riding it. <laughs> Gretchen has like a little nail, um, and it's being propelled with a wheel and a rocket. So this is going to be a fast bomb squig coming at you, and this is what the rules have to say for it. Once per turn, when a unit with a bomb squig is selected to shoot or fire Overwatch, if it has any bomb squigs remaining, that unit can release one. And when it does so, you can select one enemy unit, except an aircraft that is within 12 inches of the unit with a bomb squig when firing Overwatch, this must be the charging unit, and then you roll a d6. You add one to the result if the enemy unit is a vehicle, and on a 3-up, that enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. The number of bomb squigs the unit is equipped with is then reduced by one. So this is a very nifty ability. Because um, just being able to do D3 mortal wounds just like that, it's very easy. Because all you need is a 3-up. Uh, technically a 2-up if it's a vehicle that's you're shooting at or that's charging you. So this is going to be a very interesting tactic because orcs... Whenever I play against Gershwin's orcs, he always brings the tank busters and tank busters do a lot of damage already they're heavy hitting and now he could add bomb squigs to his units we don't know exactly what units will be able to get the squigs but we do know that they're going to be doing a ton of damage with these squigs how many you can add to a unit we'll have to wait and see but i have a feeling that it's going to work similar to how drones do to the tau empire so we'll just have to wait a few more days and we'll get a little bit more information on that so next up we have the add button things, aka the head button things that are squigs with a plate of metal on their head. Um, kind of creative, but not very ingenious if you ask me. But hey, I think that kind of adds to more of the goofiness of the orcs, but still looks badass. So basically what this is, it is a squig that the orc knobs tend to ride on, beast snag knobs for that matter, and basically what they do is they run headfirst into the enemy, smashing them all over the place. Um, pretty simple, and what this means on the actual game 
is that each time this model finishes a charge move or a heroic intervention, you select an enemy unit that is within the engagement range of this model, and you roll 5d6s. Each result of a 4-up means that the enemy has suffered a mortal wound. I guess that's alright. The potential to deal 6 <laughs> mortal wounds, um, that's crazy. But chances are, rolling 6s and then rolling 4s up is kind of hard to do. So I can see this, you know, given at least a few mortal wounds here and there. Um, pretty cool, I guess. Next up, we have a squig that sees better. This is a squig that actually cares about hitting their opponent at range. Um, so long as the gun makes sufficient noise and looks flashy, that is. This is a little squig that kind of sits on the side and it basically tends to fire a little gun all of on its own. <laughs> Which is interesting because usually squigs aren't that smart, nor are they very like tech savvy or anything like this. Unfortunately, there's no real rules or anything we can it's all just speculation at this point we don't even get to see the full model it's just like a small bit of it um but it's a cute little red squig with crosshairs on his eye and he's got this awesome little machine gun on him so maybe it gives like a plus one bs to the orc that has it i don't know but it's cool <laughs> i guess next up we have the mad doc that we see here in this picture and basically it says that here's a squig that helps hold stuff <laughs> very lackluster um i think it's just more for looks than anything i don't think this squig would actually have any gameplay mechanics to it it's just that we have a squig that is attached to an iv drip so there's that orc medicine <laughs> And then lastly, we have the Pulling Fangs section. Squigs can get rather big, as anyone unlucky enough to be on the receiving end of a Squigoth charge can attest. Some of the larger kinds make perfect beasts of burden, with the brute strength necessary to tow large war engines into battle. What exactly are these contraptions? You'll have to wait and see. So that's awesome. We might be getting smaller Squigoths, um, cause Squigots are, is already a model that you can get on Forge World. It is incredibly expensive, both point-wise and monetarily. <laughs> Squigs look awesome. Think of a big-ass, like, lizard mastodon thing with a bunch of guns on its back, and that's basically what a Squigoth is. Um, so I can't wait to see what exactly we get in this new Orc army box. Um, we have the new 9th edition codex in there so expect it to be sold out so pre-order it as soon as possible because this is the quickest way to get the orc codex before it officially comes out so the beast snagger box is going to be a hot item so keep your eyes on that guys and i can honestly say october came in july so really interesting stuff really great stuff if you're an orc player and we'll just have to wait and see what these other squigs can do in the 9th edition codex or hopefully they tell us in this uh, Warhammer Online preview that should be coming out in just a few days. So with that being said guys, let me know what orc model you guys are looking forward to the most and I'll catch you guys in the comments. This has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll see you then. Peace.